everybody. Okay, it's time to make dinner. Of course, you don't have to have wine when you're making dinner, but I'm going to. Isn't this cute? I got this little aerator thing as a gift. I don't know if it actually works or not, but um, I think the idea is if you're not going to drink the whole bottle and you don't want to decant the whole bottle, you put this in there and then you pour it through. It's supposed to make it better. So, cheers. I am making scallops and asparagus and portobello mushrooms. And the portobello mushrooms, I'm gonna roast them in the oven. They take the longest, so I'm gonna get them started. I'm slicing them thinly. Uh, you won't believe how much these cook down. I think two mushrooms, I actually think I could eat two mushrooms by myself um, and if I can't then I will keep them and I will put them in an egg scramble in the morning um, mushrooms are really good for you I eat them a lot um, okay so I'm putting them on a little pan here I'm gonna use um, a little grapeseed oil Getting the oil, a little bit of the oil on all the mushrooms. I'm doing a little pepper and a little salt. Because you know, when you're just cooking for yourself, you gotta do it quick. You want it to taste good. You're not gonna like spend a lot of time doing it fancy. So this is going in the oven. I'm gonna do it at 400 for I think about 20 minutes. Okay, so now, I'm gonna chop up my asparagus. I'm doing about, probably about an inch, inch and a half. Um, and those are gonna go in here. And for this, I'm gonna also use the grapeseed oil. Probably like a table, eh, let's see. Let's see what I pour. I'm gonna say a tablespoon. And what I also did is I started some rice um, let's see if you can see that. Oh, it's all steamy. Rice. It's um, black forbidden rice, which I don't know if that's really healthier, but people say it is. So the deal on rice in general, it's a cup of rice to a cup and a half of liquid. You can use water, you can use a bone broth. Um, sometimes people go a cup and three quarters liquid to a cup of rice. I usually stick with a cup and a half. I don't use any salt, I just do it, you bring it to a boil, um, and then as soon as it's boiling, you put the lid on it, you cover it, um, and put it down to a simmer for like 30 minutes, um, depending on the kind of rice. And then when I take the rice out and I put all the food on top of it, I'll take a little fresh olive oil and sprinkle that um, over it, so I don't want to cook the olive oil. So this is starting to saute a little bit. Um, you guys know me, I love my tongs. Stir these around a little bit. And those are gonna cook away. Those are gonna take a while, because asparagus, they don't, they don't cook too quickly. But I'm gonna leave that on high heat. I've got my rice um, simmering, and uh, I've got my mushrooms in the oven. And the last thing I'm gonna cook when these asparagus are almost done is the scallops. Okay, so my asparagus are done cooking. I think that I sauteed them. Um, you can see what they look like. They're kind of browned and um, they're just uh, really yummy. I wanna, I wanna show you. Yeah, so they're still kind of have a crunch to them. They're not like, so much better to do them this way than steaming them. They just get mushy and not good. So I'm gonna set, uh, I'm actually gonna plate. Um, I'm gonna set these out on the plate. The scallops are gonna be just about two minutes. So I'm gonna push those there. I'm gonna use the same pan. Set that over there. So this is gonna be on like a medium, a medium high heat 
I'm going to use um, about a tablespoon of butter. And I guess I could use olive oil, but um, I'm going to use butter because I love butter. Um, so here are my scallops. It was so fun. I love going to the uh, like the real butcher and when they have, I always look to see um, what they have that's fresh and wild caught. I try not to get farm raised stuff or I get stuff that's on sale, um, you know, that seems like it's a good price. Anyways, I got myself, oh, I got myself six beautiful wild scallops. So that butter's all melting in there. I'm gonna set those in there. Oh, I'm so excited about this. And my mushrooms have been in for about 15 minutes and they, I was looking at them in the oven, they look like they're almost done. Okay. Um, I think, well, these are starting to cook. I can take my rice, which I think I told you guys how to do rice. I've got my rice there. Um, probably won't eat all this rice with dinner. Sometimes when I make rice, like I make a cup of rice, which will probably make you about two cups of cooked rice, two and a half cups maybe. Um, and that's really too much to eat. But then I keep it and I can heat it for lunch the next day or whatever. Um, so that's what my plate's looking like so far. I'm gonna put, I think I told you, I'm gonna um, drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the top of the rice now. A little salt on top of that, and a little pepper. Okay, and I'm doing pepper and salt on my, oh, that timer is for the mushrooms. <laughs> uh, so let's see, just salt there. One thing you really don't want to do is overcook your scallops. They get really rubbery. So I'm watching the clock. Um, I'm also can see like they're going to get kind of browned. So this is what those two portobello mushrooms cooked down to just that. Remember I told you they were going to cook down a lot? They really do. Okay, let's see. Switch hands. So that is going to go on my plate. And again, I'm not sure I'm going to eat all of this. I might though. Those mushrooms go down really easily. <laughs> and you don't, you know, the other thing about a meal like this is you can do big portions because it's all really healthy um, and it's not uh, high in calories. Um, oh, that looks so pretty. So that's been about a minute on one side. I'm going to turn these all over. Oh, look at how pretty. See, that's what you want them to be looking like, that kind of browned, sort of seared thing. Ooh, this is good. Yeah, this might be too much food for me. I'm not sure. Um, but let me taste these. Oh, they're so good when they're roasted. Kind of a crunch but sort of squishy too. Look at how pretty that's looking. And, um, and then these are going to be done in a minute, and then I'm going to eat. And I don't know what you're doing, but if you have time, you could go out and get this stuff and make this for dinner, or you could make it tomorrow. I always like to have something green with my meal. I think that's healthy. These are almost done. Make sure it's been two minutes. It's kind of a funny thing with fish, food in general. Sometimes you can be nervous that you're undercooking it, but um, I remember in cooking school them being very clear about 
not overcooking your scallops. So I'm gonna not overcook my scallops, and I'm gonna start with three for my meal. That sort of just sounded like Mr. Rogers to me. I'm gonna start with three for my meal. I just had this very slow, kind of positive, calming attitude. <laughs> I love Mr. Rogers. Did you guys see that movie? God, that documentary was so great. Anyway, uh, that's it. That's my dinner. I'm gonna have at it. And I um, hope you guys have a great night. Sweet dreams. <laughs>